Today, I have a price figurine of Gudako from Fate's Grand Order by Furio. Furio personally calls this special figure right here on the box. So what is it so special about this figurine of Gudako? We shall find out. Hello and welcome to x Gane Blog and Photography. I'm Steven and getting back on the topic right away because this is a mini review getting back on the topic right away what is so special about this figurine of Gudako I know that I sound a bit sarcastic because I partially am but I was greeted by something that can be described as a very pleasant surprise when I took the figurine out of the box yes she's already out there on my table this is the figurine in question. The first not so good surprise, but not surprising if you knew about the figurine's specifications in the first place, is her size. This is a small price figurine, smaller than usual, about 17 to 18 centimeters tall, approximately 1 by 10 scale. I shall bring in Furio's Lakshmi Bai figurine I reviewed recently. And as you can see, they are roughly the same size. In fact, their base looks similar, except for the color. For the sake of comparison, I will bring in a figurine by Sega Price by Sega. This is Narrow Claudius or Saber Extra by Sega. And as you can see, she is huge next to these two figurines. Not because Saber is huge, but because these other two figurines by Furio are small. However, sometimes bigger is not necessarily better. And this is what's so special about this figurine of Gudako. When it comes to price figurines, they are low cost products, so some corners need to be cut. Most of the time, it is at the paint section. I shall disassemble this figurine of Sable as an example. Okay, when I remove her dress, you can see her legs, her hips. Take a look at her hips, her thighs, and you will immediately notice that the skin is very glossy, shiny, and plasticky. This is where they cut corners. The material is almost pure PVC, and they give it maybe a couple of coats of painting, and that's it. No protective coating at all. The same cannot be said for Gudako. If you paid attention to her arms, her legs, her waist, the skin is not shiny, not glossy at all. At most, only slight hints of it. This led me to speculate that Furio either used a matte finish paint instead of something that produces a gloss finish, which is slightly more expensive. Or they actually applied a clear matte coating on the figurine after they are done with the paint job, which is a very nice thing to have at this price point. This is what I call refinement. So it seems like Furio is taking a complete opposite direction from the likes of, let's say, Bandai Spirits and Ban Presto. The Ram figure I reviewed very recently, it is a huge figure because size is a very convincing selling point. Wow, this is a huge figure for 20 bucks. However, the issue with Ban Presto figurines in general is that they are not very refined in terms of painting. I complained about Ram regarding her shirt, it looks like candle wax because for something that is supposed to be semi-transparent, it looks too glossy. None of that here with this Gudako figurine. So Furio is going for quality and refinement instead of outright size and I can say that I really appreciate that. Her summer shirt, all the flower decals on it, very nicely done, I can't really fault any of it. The paint job of this figurine, not just the front, even the back side. The back of her head, her shirt, her clothes, everything. Very nicely done, no flaws. You can't find them cutting corners even on the back side, even though you couldn't see it when the figure is on the shelf. I tried my very best to find something wrong with the figurine. I could find only one at the heel of her right leg. It looks slightly deformed. Another example of refinement is the mold lines we usually see with price figurines on their side. This Gudako also has it, but they are a lot more subtle, less obvious. So I guess that Furio really focused on the quality of this price figurine. You should not judge it by size alone. 
As far as I'm aware of, there are only two figurines of Gudako. I mean, fixed figurines, not articulated ones. This is the second one, released about three months ago in September 2020. The first one was made by Sega, the same one behind this narrow figurine, but back in year 2018, more than two years old. The thing with that Sega price Gudako, yes, it is a larger figurine, 22 centimeters tall, similar to this narrow right here. But I didn't like her face. I don't own that Gudako figurine, but I've seen her a few times in anime conventions in the past. The way I would describe it, her face and her hair especially, they don't really look very accurate compared to the actual anime character, the actual character design. The same can be said for several other price figurines in the market, like this moderate figurine. This is one of the worst ones available in the market. And this one right here, despite her smaller size, is way way better. No questions. I think this is not a subjective opinion. It is objective that this is a better figurine unless you care about size. If you found this review to be informative or helpful in any way, please do consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you again soon.